Well, good morning from Karakarid. Um, <laughs> another good test of the lapel mic, as it's a little bit windy up here. So it is about quarter to five, and the sun is just rising up over Rathlin Island uh, in on the horizon. Um, and I'm already knowing, well, there's two things I want to say here. One, unless something dramatically happens in the sky, um, this is going to be no more than a kind of recce type shot. Um, not enough going on the sky. I mean, the, the colours are beautiful and the colours in the foreground are beautiful. And when the sun rises, I may point my camera oh, that way. Maybe it starts to light, light up these cliffs. But certainly looking back towards Karakareed Rope Bridge, there's not enough for me going on in, in, in the sky. Um, <clears throat> there is a bank of clouds on the horizon or just above the horizon. Um, fingers crossed um, that doesn't affect the light too much. Um, so I'm already saying to myself that this is going to be just the making of a shot, i.e. over a period of time. I have a, a certain type of image in mind here and I'm not quite sure it's going to happen today. Still, I'll of course share some images from this morning with you. Secondly, apologies there hasn't been a lot of content uh, on the way over here. Um, well, actually, I make no apologies for that. Um, for me, the photography will always come first. Don't get me wrong, I love making these little vlogs, especially to showcase the absolutely stunning landscape that I'm finding myself in um, but the image will always come will always take priority and on the way up here I was looking at compositions I was sort of thinking pre-visualizing the shot that I was going to be going for and I really didn't want to interrupt myself with leaving cameras down and you know, recording footage of me kind of walking around too much so apologies for that but then again not too many apologies so just very quickly just as the sun continues to rise I'm on the Fuji X-T1. I have the 18 to 155 mil lens. I'm locked in here at the moment on 23 uh, mil on the lens, which is about a 35 mil equivalent. I have a three stop uh, soft uh, ND grad on from Format High Tech. Um, and I'm kind of in a vertical uh, composition um, using some of these little uh, sort of wildflowers and reeds in the foreground um, leading myself kind of into the bridge and then onward into the horizon um, now as I say on the horizon there's there's very little going on there's more actually going on across where the sun is rising there's some beautiful clouds happening over there so let me just quickly turn you around see that's kind of a bit bit nicer but where I'm shooting which is kind of behind you there's not really a lot going on anyway as I said before image will always take priority so I'm gonna hang this up right now get back to this and I'll catch up with you later see you in a bit mm. so the sun is just glimpsing over the top of Rathlin Island now there's a, again, not a lot going on this way. I'm actually shooting a long exposure. I've got still the three-stop uh, grad on. I'm now in a horizontal composition at f11. Um, I have a 10-stop uh, filter on. And I've now got a kind of a composition that's kind of flowing all the way through the island and getting just a little bit of that color over Rathlin as well. Um, according to my little exposure cheat sheet, I want to be going for about three minutes or so. We're at two minutes and six seconds. Um, I may now turn my attention back here. <clears throat> but again, situations like this, you know, I could see myself in the past panicking. Where do I point my camera? Where do I point my camera? I'm just going to take a moment. If I come away from here with maybe one or two shots that are either, you know, very nice in their own or are going to lead me on to something in the future, then I'll be more than happy. So at times like this, when there potentially is a lot of interest going on now and things are starting to kind of build, just take a step back, take a deep breath, and also appreciate where you are. It's a beautiful landscape. You know, it's not just about 
making of an image and kind of ruining your experience of the morning. Well, at least personally for me, it's not. Right, we're just at three minutes here, so I'm going to stop babbling, focus on the camera, and get back to taking some images. Oh, this is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So I've come down closer to the entrance to the bridge. Obviously the bridge isn't opened yet. <clears throat> now facing back towards the, the cliffs that have been illuminated by the sun that you can see on my face. Um, and I've just shot two exposures. I've sh both long exposures. I've taken the grad off because the, there's, there's not a huge difference between... Now that the sun is kind of illuminating all in, in front, there's not a huge difference between the foreground and the sky maybe a little darker in the in the, in the sea but i should be able to lift that in post so i just took two um images there uh, one at one minute and five seconds which is kind of what i had calculated for my long exposure based upon a 15th of a, of a second um uh base exposure um but then i actually shot a, a second one he says putting his camera into Wi-Fi mode, I then shot a second ex exposure, 30 seconds, um, and that one, just in case I need to pull out some of those highlights from the sky, there's quite a, a nice ridge of cumulus clouds going on in the background, um, so 10 stop filter, I'm shooting an F11, and two exposures, a 30 second exposure and a one minute exposure, the sky, or the, um, the foreground, those cliffs are just being lit up, absolutely beautifully <clears throat> right back to it so I've come back down to well to the previous position I was in where the, the foreground was in shadow the sun has now risen um, a little bit more and these little uh, marids are now taking on a bit of that light which, which may allow them to be included in the, in the foreground hmm nice again it's the sky sky's just not doing it for me at all um, so, what I may try here is to go in a portrait, oh, if I can get this thing off. So I'm going to just go in a portrait uh, orientation. And I'm going to look to emphasize the foreground to see whether that works. So I'm actually going to zoom in just a little bit. I'm now on 35mm on the... On the lens, it does it does remove some of the the uninteresting sky. But what I may need to do is get my tripod over the fence. Back in a minute. So I'm up in the portrait orientation now. Got two of the tripod legs just over the fence slightly. That allows me to actually. Uh, tilt my my lens much more down to emphasize the foreground without getting the fence in the way um, now The only issue with doing this is now the the foreground is quite soft and it's as you can probably tell it's quite windy um, So I'm not quite sure whether or not the the image will be uh, crisp enough now obviously the foreground is not going to matter too much because these are moving anyway but whether or not the cliffs are going to be um, uh, sharp enough so what I'm actually going to do I'm actually going to remove the 10 stop sometimes when you're out on a landscape shoot you can get too focused on doing long exposure stuff and I'm, I'm as guilty as the next man for doing that um, so the light's still really beautiful um, I'm actually going to remove the 10 stop filter and actually just shoot some regular images because I, I really love the light on those cliffs and I want to make sure that I capture at least a few frames of that um, even if I don't get the long exposure uh, effect on the sea. So I'm going to remove the 10 stop filter and shoot some standard images.
Right, taking a wander back down again to my initial composition with the uh, with the rope bridge. The sun has now risen for for a bit in the sky. It's about forty five minutes after sunrise. Um, so it may now be lighting up the bridge a bit more. We'll go down and see. It does of course mean clambering back down these steps again. And a third time I've ran up and down them. Gym membership. Ha. Oh, all you need is a camera and a set of steps. Oh. Beautiful. So as I thought at the time, the images really didn't do much for me when I got home. Certainly the ones that I had initially planned to shoot looking towards the rope bridge and out over Rathlin and Island. A combination of an uninteresting sky and too much direct sunlight in the wrong places just made those images non-starters. Things got a little better as I pointed my lens towards the eliminated rocks but again I felt as though something was missing. I've actually sat on this vlog for a number of weeks now as I wasn't planning on showing any of the footage. However, I've decided to, to include a few and hit the publish button. I already know that apart from on this video, these particular images won't see the light of day anywhere else. I guess it's good sometimes to show the real life of a landscape photographer. After all, it's not all unicorns pooping rainbows over a misty meadow. Until next time. Goodbye. I lost my dead rat. Pants.